Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another ultra rare, hard to find used small class C motorhome from Parkway RV Center. I say all that because those of you who've been looking for motorhomes that are 25 feet long with low miles know how frustrating and uh, time consuming that can be. Uh, so I've got one today that will not be here by the end of the week. Today we're going to review a 2017 Coachman Orion. This is the LE model 21 RS. Smallest one they build with a slide, guys. It's a little over 23 feet long. 23 feet 10 inches, if I'm not mistaken. Has one slide out. Just turned 20,000 miles on the trip home with it. And guys, the only way you're going to find one any nicer than this is to go out and buy a brand spanking new one. I mean, it's in really nice condition overall. Um, got the Ford Transit chassis. It's the 35. It's a 350 HD. Got the dually rear end. Very stable going down the road. A lot more than a Class B van, but it's not much bigger than a Class B van. Got the 3.7 liter V6 with 285 horsepower, guys. This thing will. Uh, this thing will get up and go. I think it'll outrun a Sprinter van. And um, from what I'm reading online, most most people on forums and stuff report getting around 12 miles a gallon with this motorhome, which is not bad at all. It's got a 4KW Onan gasoline generator running right now. Very low hours on it. This is a nice motorhome, guys. They just do not come any nicer than this in a used one got the actual alloy wheels instead of the wheel covers got everything a big motor home has it's got a furnace roof air water heater all the good stuff 30 amp electrical service got a hitch on the back now guys these are made for driving and fuel mileage they're not made for towing so it's only got a 2,000 pound tow capacity so about the only vehicle you're going to tow behind it as far as a runabout be like a little smart car. I think they weigh 18, 1900 pounds. Uh, or maybe a little trailer with a motorcycle or a golf cart or something like that. But it's got a TPO roof system. One thing you're probably noticing, I can't understand this. This is the only, this is the only fault I can find with this motorhome. And I've already ordered some more. They're only like 20 bucks each. Is somebody has removed the top set of tail lights. I can't explain it, guys, but somebody, I guess, needed those tail lights worse than we did. They're literally $33 for two of them shipped in off the internet. I'll have them put on by the end of the week, so don't even worry about that. But I just want to point that out in case you see it in the video. You got a power awning, you've got LED light strip outside auxiliary shower look over here guys you've got your outside entertainment center with a tv uh stereo and, and outdoor rated speakers got a solar panel plug so if you want to add solar to it it's pretty much plug and play put your panel from your cord down here plug it in Got the Asdale panels on the inside and outside, so that means less worries about water intrusion. You've got the three camera system. You've got the side camera plus a rear view camera. And of course it is the Ford Transit one ton with the six speed automatic. Let's look inside and guys, you want to see a nice little motor home. Like I said, literally this thing will be gone by the end of the week because these things, they're not out there. And inside, guys, this is the smallest one you're gonna find with a stationary queen bed in the back. Excuse me, it's not non-ducted air. You don't really need ducted air in one this small. Up here in the front cab, no check engine lights, no warning lights, 20,476 miles. Everything's just like it's supposed to be. Power windows, power locks, six speed. You've got the uh, roll control. You've got the RSC technology, which is anti-roll technology, using the ABS and the torque from the motor going to different wheels. It will actually allow you to have more control if you take a turn sharper than you should be. While no technology can 100% prevent an accident, 
this will help you if you just hit a curve a little bit too fast and of course uh, electric uh, power steering speed sensitive a lot of technology in this coach guys for drivability cruise control tilt of course power windows power locks backup camera system and the side cameras work great built right in i don't know how well you can see that you got a full-size bed up top and you've got a 24 inch furion tv no signs of leak damage water damage smoke damage smells odors anywhere this is a double bed up here you've got the ladder this right here is your extended this is for your table booth bed to make it a double bed as well and actually the table booth folds down makes a bed and that is the extension for the bed that goes between here and here to make your bed so you've got a double bed here double bed up top queen bed in the back guys i promise you this this motorhome will sleep more than you'd want to carry with you in a 23 foot class c motorhome or mini class c i should say overhead cabinets look great uh these seat belts right here buckles are for the safety net you know i know a lot of people worried about kids sleeping up here you actually have a, a net you can set up up there to keep help keep kids from rolling out of the bed uh dvd player king dome antenna system countertops look great again guys i guess nobody cooks in these things anymore two burner stove top pick this up this is your power if i can with the you've got gfi i'd have to put that blind up but you've got gfi hookups and usb chargers right there six cubic foot rv refrigerator freezer that's already cold already works good and you can see it doesn't look like it's hardly been used this whole motor home guys just has hardly any use at all um, in it you can look no painter there's no paint missing on the refrigerator racks no skint marks from putting stuff in and out stove top doesn't look like it's been used microwave looks good i mean yeah here in the back bedroom you've got a queen island bed and i guess i could have made it up a little better sorry about that but you've got a queen bed which is very nice for something this small in the slide out now guys when this slide out comes in since i'm just doing a short video on this uh you cannot use this bed so you're going to be stuck to using the table booth or the overhead bunk if you don't want to put your room out which i don't know why you wouldn't since it just takes a few seconds to bring in and out uh, unless you're in a spot that you just physically cannot put it out foot of the bed there's a place for a tv and we can certainly add one for a couple hundred bucks if you want us to got an antenna and hookups over there you've got a bathroom on the side of the coach right here and this is i mean you know it's a little small but you're talking about a small motor home i mean there's 23 feet by seven and a half eight feet that's not much square footage to work with so i think the designers at forest river coachman did a fantastic job making the most out of what little square footage they have i mean what is that let's just say it's eight foot wide it's 23 feet long actually less than that it's only about 20 feet long because the cab i wouldn't really count toward the square footage what about 160 square feet about the size of a of a small bedroom that's not much at all guys 160 170 square feet is all you got to work with here but i mean you get the easeability and portability of driving something small that's actually a big toilet for this uh for this little motor home you've got one little step down here and that's because of the extra storage on the outside it does have a pretty fair amount of outside storage at least for this size motor home let me correct that um closet right here set shelves uh closet right over here as well um and you got overhead storage so as far as actual inside storage i would rate this one pretty high for the size rv the upholstery everything's clean no places are flaking no cracks no pick marks from animals doesn't have any carpet in here i do like that so a broom swiffer wet jet you're good to go 
rooftop AC LED lights for low power consumption if you want a boondock camp really quiet 4kw generator I mean guys this is 20,000 miles this is the real deal like I said the only way you're gonna find one any nicer than newer is to go buy a 2021 model and spend an extra twenty five thirty thousand dollars if you want to save some money you don't have you don't want to have to wait because good luck trying to find one of these in stock without having a special order because inventory is down so much for new motorhomes this is something that you can buy pick up take it use it enjoy it all while you're why, why everybody else would still be waiting for the new one that they ordered to come in that they're paying tens of thousands of dollars more for it. um of course, guys, it's 59.9. Includes my world famous four page inspection process that we do after purchase. I'll put a link below in the video description if you want to see everything that we're going to inspect and repair if needed and guarantee to work for the price you pay. Nobody else in this business does it, which, but guys, honestly, I can't even find a single light in here that doesn't work. Um, Dash air is ice cold. I had it on earlier. I got the heat on now. Um, I, I'm, I'm fairly certain, I, you know, I can't guarantee it obviously, but I'm fairly certain this thing's gonna go through the checkout process like a hot knife through butter. So this is something we can get to pretty quick, get it done pretty quick. I do not see any, I don't foresee any major repairs. Besides waiting, it's gonna be the end of the week for I have those tail lights. That's the only thing that might hold us up. Um, but this thing's gonna sell, I'm gonna say this week, where are you gonna find them guys? with this low of miles with this nice condition not been lived in so many people uh buy these things they don't let them become driveway queens they put the miles on them you know they'll put 15 20 000 miles a year on or some people will on these small motorhomes because they don't want to let them sit around they're so much easier to use and drive and park over the big motorhomes that's why they have so many more miles on them I was looking at Class B vans this morning, guys, and there's 17 model Class Bs with 100,000 miles on the internet for sale right now. But this one's only got 20. It's a great motor. I'm a big fan of the Ford Transit. I think it's, honestly, just because of how easier it is to find somebody to work on them, I would probably rate the Transit better than the Sprinter. You know, I love the Sprinter, but it's just hard to find somebody to work on them. Like, we're here close to Chattanooga, Tennessee. Our closest dealer that we have that works on them, even the Mercedes dealers in Macon, Georgia, is three or four month waiting period for a Mercedes diesel. This one, you can take the Ford dealer, you can take the independent shops. This is something that you're not really gonna have a hard time finding somebody to work on it if something goes wrong. And the Transit's been out for several years now. Uh, it's, it's proven itself. That 3.7 V6 they used in the Ford trucks for many years. It's a great motor. Um, torquey, a lot of power. In fact, you'd be this thing runs about like a full size SUV or a van wheel as far as power. So I mean, you're not going to be slowing everybody down if you're going up mountains and stuff like that with that motor in this RV. But anyway, guys, it's all around a great package. 59.9 haggle free firm if it's something you think you're interested in give us a call 706-965-7929 i was going to look at the generator hours while i had it running 136 hours that's not even broken in guys 136 hours on the generator 20,000 on the entire motorhome here it is while it lasts, when it's gone, I'm sorry, I told you so. The last one of these I shot a video on, I got calls for months wanting another one just like it, and it was the same price and wasn't as nice as this one. So uh, this one right here, guys, and that was before the pandemic too. This one right here is gonna sell quickly. Financing available with approved credit, down payment, if you're interested in that, give us a call, 706-965-7929 call before coming to look to verify availability you probably want to consider considering this is the only vehicle like this i have in stock you probably want to strongly consider leaving a deposit on it because you're not going to be the only interested party looking at this motorhome i can guarantee you that but thank you for watching guys i really appreciate it feel free to give me a thumbs up share my videos on social media comment um like give me a like um, 
stay tuned i'll have some more videos coming soon but uh if this is something you think you're interested in again guys give us a call email sales at parkwayrvcenter.com all of our contact information is in the video description below as well as links to our website to our four page inspection process and more um and remember we also offer nationwide delivery we've sold these things all over the united states i sold one this morning to a gentleman in oregon and i'm over here in ringgold georgia now guys that's uh how many RVs is that guy is that guy going to pass up coming down here to buy one from us between him and here in Oregon? That's just because of our prices and the quality of the RVs we sell. We've been doing this for 53 years, family owned and operated for three generations, guys. We've always been here for you, always going to be. We have no extra fees. We have no haggling, no gimmicks, no games, straightforward sales, no thousands of dollars in fees like other dealers charge the 59.9 you get the warranty the 90 day easy care nationwide limited warranty you get a full inspection you get 21 nights of free camping up to seven nights at a time at select rv resorts nationwide to be used in a 12 month period you also get a full orientation and more 59.9 haggle free with no fees no dock fees no prep fees none of that nonsense guys just applicable sales tax you got a question about this motorhome you want to buy it you got a question about our our uh, per, our procedure to purchase one from us best thing to do guys especially right now as busy as we are is pick up a phone and call us 706-965-7929 you can email us if you wish but while your email is sitting unread in the inbox somebody else could be taking the initiative and call and leave a deposit on this one that's how quick these things high demand these things are guys i wouldn't even trust email right now pick up a phone and call us business hours 9 a.m to 6 p.m eastern time monday through friday 9 a.m to uh, 5 p.m saturday eastern time and course close sundays and most major holidays of course sunday's the lord's day and family day for our employees and um anyway guys thank you again for watching if you're if you're wondering our address is 5568 battlefield parkway ringo georgia thank you for watching look forward to seeing you soon in beautiful ringo georgia